Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we are going to be talking about how to shoot in manual and maintain the correct exposure. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first off, um, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is for all of those beginners out there that might need a little bit of help with that, because a lot of questions I get in the comments are like, how do I take good photos? How do I maintain the correct exposure? Something like that. And my answer, or I reply to them and I say, are you shooting manual? And sometimes the answer is no, and that could be part of the problem. So what shooting manual is, is you're basically in control of every single setting on the camera. So you're in control of white balance, you're in control of ISO, you're in control of shutter speed, you're in control of aperture you have control over everything. The camera isn't doing as much, if not anything for you. So I've got this camera right here, the Samsung NX300M. Uh, we're gonna power it on here. Um, so just to show you, I am on the M mode right now, um, which means manual. There's other modes. Uh, so. On Canon cameras, I believe uh, the M is M, but the other modes like shutter priority, I think is TV shutter priority, AV for aperture priority, and so on. Uh, so aperture priority, um, before we actually talk into manual, aperture priority is when you control the aperture and the camera does everything else for you, and then shutter priority is when you control the shutter and the camera does everything else for you. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna set my shutter speed um, pretty quick, like maybe 1 12 50th or something, because one of my viewers said that they want a fast shutter speed, but whenever they do that, their pictures come out dark. So what I would say to do that is, okay, so our shutter speed is at 1 uh, 12 50th here, uh, f3.5 and let's maintain a recent or relatively decent ISO number so like 1600 or something like that and it's it's, it's coming out uh, pretty dark right now not gonna lie um, so what I would do um, is we could open up our aperture if I had a lens for this camera to do so so right now I'm at f 3.5 but if I really wanted to get that low light performance and be able to crank my shutter but not have to bump up the ISO so far that it's just like disgustingly uh, noisy. I could bump my aperture down to like f2, f2.8, something like that and you'd be able to get the proper exposure that you want. Um, if you don't have the capability for the type of lens you're shooting, you could bump up the ISO but depending on how well your camera handles it, that might not be what you want to do. I know some cameras have like internal noise reduction or you could uh, do noise reduction when you edit. If that's something you want to do, then go ahead. But that would be my only recommendation if, is if you have a lens that's like F4 or something like that, it's like a very aperture, you know, not super wide aperture either. Your only option would be to uh, crank up your ISO in that case. Um, other times, like if you don't need like a really fast shutter speed, you could just leave it at like 1 400th, they, even then that's like pretty fast. But when you're shooting indoors, if you don't have a lens that can open up like that, that's when you're going to be using your ISO the most. And I personally don't like to do a lot of noise reduction because then you lose a lot of the detail. But if it's something that I have to do, I will do it to get the proper exposure. But if I can avoid it, I will. So actually, before we finish up, since we briefly talked about aperture priority and shutter priority, I'm gonna to touch on those a little bit more. So as I flip mode dial, as I flip the mode dial to, for example, aperture priority, the camera lights up and it says aperture priority on it. And that way I can adjust my aperture with the little mode dial, or not mode dial, but just the adjustment dial on the top of this camera. And you can see how the shutter speed changes and um, accordingly to my aperture, which is nice because it still maintains the correct exposure, but I can do whatever the heck I want with the aperture. So with shutter priority, um, yeah, you can see the camera's mad at me. The camera's like, this is not gonna be good exposure. Um, anyway, 
uh, cause it's red right now. But anyway, what it's doing is if I adjust it, it'll t t turn blue when it'll say like, that's a good exposure or something like that. Um, which is quite interesting actually. I don't think my other cameras do this. And that's pretty much it. And then there's also program mode, which uh, I don't really know a whole lot about. Oh, that's interesting. It like maps both of aperture and shutter together, which is pretty interesting, I think. I've never seen that done before. Uh, so that's basically it. Shutter priority, you control the shutter, the camera does everything else. Aperture priority, you control the aperture, the camera does everything else. In program, it moves the shutter and the aperture in tandem, which is pretty interesting. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little video about manual, how to maintain the correct exposure you want, and everything in between. So, if you guys like this video, want to see more beginner tips, tutorials, that type of content, drop a like below, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.